Okay, uh, today we're going to be scrapping a dirty microwave oven to, the, to see what's inside for precious metal. I got some tools here. This one here is a tool that has a, a little hole with some pie start there. I don't know the name, but you need that special tool to, to take this uh, security security screws the microwave sometimes has two or four of them and you don't have to use a hammer to to scrape to, to scrap a microwave because it's harder just have the right tools I'm gonna be showing you how to take it apart very easy probably take 10 to 15 minutes I'm gonna be pausing I'm gonna take the cover out I'm gonna be pausing from time to time Okay, I have the back cover out. You just take the screws out, four screws, security screws, and one standard screw here. And you just pull it back like that. You don't have to hit it with a hammer. Just put it on some place. Safe, of course. And there we have it. Now, what we got here? Not much. We have a power supply board with some transformers we have the lamp is right here uh, we gotta have a PC board here too probably I don't know if they're using this one for for the display here uh, this is a magnetron some people don't take it out just leave it like that for matter you can take it out it's just for screw and the power transformer down there that's uh most of them is copper and uh, aluminium coils most of them are copper and aluminium coils the big capacitor here sometimes you just can uh, uh jump it with the with the meter just like that so there is no high voltage there you can do it on both of them there is some high voltage it works it will just dissipate through the metal of the housing. Try not to touch the screwdriver, the metal part of the screwdriver. That, that what you're doing right there is shorting out. So the voltage, you won't get a, a heat from it. Very easy stuff. That's the dial, power supply dial. It has a back here, has a, another uh, transformer coil with a fan for cooling. These are, right here is a thermostat. Uh, this is a thermostat. And on the bottom of this microwave oven, there is always uh, another, down there, another motor. That's the one who turned the plate. Now, to take these things apart, it's not that hard. Just uh, a few screws and everything will come out. I'm gonna be pausing from now. Uh, it's not that hard. Okay, I have almost everything out of there. I got a few boards that I took out, the lamp, the capacitor, power capacitor. And I have the magnetron here. So I'm going to be taking out the power transformer right here. And this box here. That's, uh, I never seen any microwave with a box in here, but this is probably a it's a toast wave. So this is a this is a micro microwave toaster too. It has a it has a microwave and a toaster. It's the first one I see like that. So I'm gonna be scrapping this thing, the whole thing. This metal, I don't know, that's probably iron. This is all iron here, I have to take this box out. So I'm gonna be pausing for now, then I'll let you know when done. Okay, on the back side, there is a motor under the microwave. So you have to cut uh, this snap, cut uh, four pieces of metal here, this one, that is holding the whole base. Just cut, like you can see here. 
right there you just cut that and then you take the motor out from the bottom of the microwave okay guys you watch the scrubber this is what we have from the microwave out uh, it's a bunch of things because this one this one has a toaster it took probably 15 minutes to scrub it so I'm going to tell you the parts inside a microwave right now. Uh, okay, we got here is a sensor for the toaster, the lamp for the microwave. We have the PC board that controls the front, the front function, this panel here. Uh, this relay, it has some copper in it, and it has some silver, uh, silver port in there, just uh, that switch the relay. Those are silver. You can scrap it if you want. There is a transformer here. And nothing else, just the PC board. Now we have two, three safety switch. That all microwaves use this safety switch. So if something wrong goes with it, uh, it will stop from working. So most of the time these, these uh, switches, safety switches, they, they get damaged, one of them. And the microwave won't turn on or it won't hit the, the food. So this is the, the problem with them. We have here the back motor. It's a fan. All the microwave has this fan on the back. And there is copper here. And this is metal. Now this is the safe, uh, the dial, the power supply dial. All of them has one too. We have the magnetron. Some people say it won't play with this thing here because this is uh, this uh, it's kind of poisonous something, so don't play with it. Leave it like that. You can solve this as it as a matter. Uh, we have the power transformer here. The power transformer is so it's very heavy, but it's the matter. Now, uh, most of them has a. Um, I think this is a uh, aluminum, aluminum uh, matter, aluminum, and inside here there is a uh, copper. That's copper, right here is copper, and this is uh, aluminum metal. Aluminum, that part's aluminum. Okay, we have the front board here, the front PC. There is uh, no wall or nothing in here that you can scrap it, just metal. There is some some ICs, square IC for four size. They have gold in there, gold plated stuff in there. We have the bottom motor. Your microwave won't turn. This is what's wrong with it, the bottom one. We got two sensors here for the microwave. These two sensors sense the heat of the microwave. Too. We have the safety fuse here, safety fuse. And this is what I got of wiring. Uh, maybe half pound of wiring to scrap it. Uh, this one has a, a diagram, the service diagram that you can keep if you want to work within a repair microwave. I do repair microwave. So, and this is the the high power capacitor. This is the one that keep the voltage in it. So every time you work on it, at first you just jump this connector here, jump it to the ground of the microwave with a cable with a screwdriver like I told you before. And then that will discharge the, the capacitor. Okay, this is this microwave oven. I never saw one like this. This is a toaster. It has a toaster in there. So this is just a piece of metal. You can see, you can sell it as it. There is no much in there. Piece of metal. Then the case. That's the case right there. A metal part here from the front door. Front door. That's the case. I can scrap it as metal. That's the plastic bags there. You can uh, scrap it or sell it. You sell a uh, plastic, I don't know. And this is the other part of the of the oven. It has some metal in it. I don't know if this is uh, aluminum or just metal. And a safety light there and some uh, copper wiring. So that's all inside a microwave. Take like 15 minutes to scrap it. You have the right tool, not special tool, just the, the
The screws on top of the microwaves, they have some time to security the screws on it or four. This one has four. So that's all you got in there. Not much, probably a dollar or two dollars in metals and cables. And that's what you can recover from the microwave. It's not, it's not a lot, so you be the judge. So that's for all now, guys. So bye-bye. Please subscribe. If you subscribe to my channel, let me know you want me to subscribe to your channel, I will do it because this is to help each other. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe.